Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons. Today we are going to talk about Evelyn Nesbitt. Evelyn Nesbitt was a model, chorus girl and actress in the early 1900s. She started modeling for various artists at a very young age, I believe she was about 14 years old when she began and she was very sought after as a model. She was very beautiful and many artists found something in her that inspired them to make beautiful art. One of these people was Charles Gibson who drew Evelyn as one of the very famous Gibson girls. So you can see that she very much kind of impersoned the beauty ideal of the time. Some people like to say that she was the first supermodel of the world. She was photographed so much and interpreted by so many artists. There's loads and loads of material of her. She starred in uh, magazines, on covers, it, on, on various products, postcards, everything. And she was a very, very popular model in the USA indeed. But Perhaps what made her most famous or what made her go down in history the most was um, her kind of involvement in the trial of the century. Evelyn had a certain attraction to men that have a peculiar way of treating women. Let's put it that way. So um, she had connections to a certain gentleman who was a renowned architect in New York when she was very young. Um, and then later she married a man that was a socialite, um, kind of in the upper circles of society, who also didn't treat her very well, but apparently didn't really agree with the way the other man, the architect, had treated her in the past. And he ended up murdering him in public, which resulted in the trial of the century, which was very publicized. It was a media hype because it involved three famous people that many people knew about and it was just very scandalous in general. In the end, Evelyn's husband was found temporarily insane when he committed the murder and then he was released and then imprisoned again. And all this was very complicated, but in the meantime, Evelyn gave birth to a son and um, started living life as an actress, continued modeling. She was modeling in a time where the fashion industry and fashion advertising was just coming up and she was used often as a face for different campaigns. So this made her very famous and many women kind of saw her as a example, you know, beauty wise. So I guess it's pretty fair to say that she was a true beauty beacon. So today I'm going to try and recreate her iconic look. So let us begin with the makeup. I am going to keep it very simple. This is from an era where makeup wasn't really worn um, or it was worn very secretly. So I'm going to start by applying a layer of foundation just to even out my skin tone. And then I'm going to go over with a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes to cover up my dark circles. When everything is blended out nicely, I'm going to go over with a layer of powder to mattify everything. And then it's time for contour powder. Evelyn has a little bit of a cleft chin, so I definitely need to replicate that in order to look more like her. So I'm going to, to just take a little eyeshadow brush and pretty much just draw a line straight down the center of my chin. And then I'm going to kind of blend this out towards the back so that it doesn't look like a line on my chin, but it actually looks like a natural cleft chin. And then I'm going to apply just a little bit of contour um, on the inner part of my eyes, kind of alongside my nose, just on the top there. And that's pretty much it for contouring. Evelyn had a pretty round face, so I don't need to do too much there. But I am going to continue with the eyebrows. She had dark, natural, kind of full eyebrows, so I'm going to draw mine in just a little bit to make them look less groomed and plucked. So I'm just taking a couple of eyeshadow colors that together will make my natural eyeshadow color and using this on a little angled brush to draw on some eyebrows. Or actually to draw on some eyebrow hairs. Trying to get this to look as natural as possible. And then lastly I'm going to apply a little bit of blush just pretty much all over my cheeks. Um, make sure this looks very natural. Again makeup wasn't worn to be seen back then so I'm going to just really blend this out. Just apply a touch to bring a little bit of color back into my face after I've applied all of that foundation. Okay moving on to the hair and this is the more exciting part. So like I mentioned Evelyn was one of the models for the Gibson girls so her hair was kind of the iconic Gibson girl hairstyle. She sat for the drawing titled The Eternal Question where her hair is kind of um, 
shaped like a question mark. So that is pretty much the hairstyle I'm going for today. A little bit less emphasized and romanticized because obviously it is a painting or a drawing. So um, yeah, this is the hairstyle pretty much that she is wearing in the photograph that is very similar to that drawing. So it may actually be based off of that. All right, so I'm going to begin by curling all of my hair. I am going to start by spraying it with some heat protector as always to protect my hair from the heat that I'm going to apply on it. And then I'm going to section my hair off, start at the bottom and curl all of my hair going all the way up. And when I've curled all my hair, I'm going to give this a couple of minutes to completely cool down before I touch my hair again. And then I'm going to separate out a section of hair in the front. So this is pretty much going to be just the front part of my hair from about the center of the top of my head all the way down towards my ears, everything in front of that. And everything that's behind, I'm going to just clip away for now. I'm going to work on that later. So all of this hair in the front, I'm going to start teasing. And I'm going to tease about halfway down my hair. I don't need to tease everything. Um, just enough to make a little poof in the front. So when everything is teased, I'm going to go over the front of my hair with that comb and just kind of smooth this out. And then I'm going to start shaping, modeling my poof. And I'm going to pin all of this hair down on the top of my head, kind of towards the back. And just try to kind of make this loose and messy, uh, like the kind of typical Gibson girl hairstyle. So when that is to my liking, I'm going to take a section from more towards the bottom of the side of my hair and I'm going to just swoop this up um, very loosely again and pin it up with a bobby pin again towards the center of my head. Do the same thing on the other side. And now you get a kind of very loose ponytail like feeling so i'm going to swoop all of my hair over my shoulder to the front and then i decided to kind of recurl this with a slightly smaller curling iron to create these two little spiral curls in the front here and i also curled some little pieces here and there in the front that fell out of my poof because she appears to have some curly pieces sticking out in the front as well and that is pretty much your evelyn nesbitt question mark hair done <laughs> so that is all that i have for you today in this episode of beauty beacons guys so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more beauty beacons videos if you have any requests for historical beauty icons that you would like me to recreate the looks of leave them down in the comment section below i will have a look and pick someone out for next week so yeah i will see you very soon in my next video bye